Good morning, Dave here with Organic Gardening in North Carolina. Hashtag I am a creator. It is June the 1st, so it's a little past my May garden tour, but I'm gonna call this my May garden tour. All right, let's turn the camera around and see what's going on. Okay, I planted some sweet corn up here in the top of the garden. The dogs have been tromping over it, but some of it has survived and uh, I keep pushing it up when it falls over but hopefully we'll get some sweet corn out of here I planted some popcorn back here see there's a little few popcorns coming up same thing with them the dog's been running over them hopefully they'll get established I got some watermelon growing here I've been meaning to put a trellis up for them but it might be too late because it's grown like crazy my blackberry bush is falling over I need to put a stake in to put that up here's some tomatoes I think that's a boxcar wheelie these are I believe beef steaks here that I got tied up on this some posts I got from our property they're going way up there hopefully I won't get a ladder out to do that should have chopped them shorter I guess I think this is another beef steak it's got some tomatoes on there let's see our blueberry bush this is the our biggest blueberry bush they're starting to get blue on there so we'll be eating them soon here's one of my fig trees this is the one that came from uh, the uh, I always forget. I think of Palestine, somewhere over there. Look at my garlic. I got tons and tons of garlic planted in there. And it's coming up. And I cut the uh, scapes off of most of them. Let's see. Here is the um, moringa tree from last year that people said it would be sprouting up from the roots this year. I don't know. I think it just might have had too cold a winter because I sure don't see anything sprouting up yet. Maybe it still will. Oh, here's some lettuce. This is some kind of squash. It might be a zucchini. I tried hiding it in here to try to keep the vine borers away from it. So we'll see what happens with that. I got potatoes planted through here too. see there's a fig tree in here somewhere oh yeah here it is that's one that I sprouted from a fig pop method gotta pull some of this arugula back so it gets some light there we go now you can see the fig tree better and I made some little tags for him that is a panache tiger. Can't wait to see that one grow. There's some giant Swiss chard. I think that was the name of it. But it is pretty giant. Oh, I got... One of my fig pops didn't make it. This one had a sprout on it, but it dropped off. And I was keeping it uncovered so it could get some light so I'm not sure why that one dropped off here's another fig from a fig pop Let's see what this one is this is a yellow long neck that I got from Harvey Got to keep cutting things back. Chopping and dropping so it gets some light to it. Here's another fig that I did from a fig pop. 
Let's see what this one is. Where is that tag? Here it is. Let's see, what's it say? Don't have my glasses on. Yellow Lebanese that I got from CNY Figury. Okay. Sweet, that one's doing really well. Oh, let's see, I planted some lemongrass up here. Been meaning to come look at that and see how it's doing. Looks like it's doing pretty well. I took a bite of that the other day and it tasted pretty good. Tasted lemony. Imagine that. Alrighty, let's see what else we got. I think this is, it might be some kind of sunflowers. Hopefully it's not Jerusalem artichoke way down here. Uh, here is my goji berry. That's taken off. That, that little sprout there when it's like five feet, almost six feet tall now. The main bush still does not seem like it's going anywhere. That was a shoot that came off from the side. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I've put lots of manure and compost on it and it still doesn't, just doesn't seem like it wants to do anything. So maybe this uh, baby plant will grow and take off. All right, let's see. Here we got some more squash that I planted that in the middle of some garlic. But now I'm not seeing the garlic to try and keep those squash borers away. Oh, here's some blackberries. Hopefully they'll get plump. We've had plenty of rain this year, so I can't blame it on the rain if they don't do anything. Here's a... Uh, a flower garden that the dogs have been tromping down I think either that or I planted everything too close together but it looks like dogs are tromping it they've been chasing I think chipmunks in the garden here here is the raspberry patch it is going crazy look at these raspberries wish you were here to take a bite because I would sure share them with you Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now that's a way to get some breakfast. I'm gonna pick some of these for my wife and grandkid. But my other grandson's coming today, so probably have to leave some on for him. This is a cellutus tree lettuce that um, came up by itself. It's got like three of them here. I should probably harvest that and cook it but I doubt if I'll get around to it. My other tree lettuce is over here in this thing that used to be a raised bed. The dogs have trumped through here too and knocked a bunch of them down, but there's some still standing. And I'm really liking this tree lettuce that I got from M.I. Gardener. Mm. I trimmed that peach tree that came up from a seed. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that yet might hold on to it a year or two and see if it produces anything here's an okra that came up in the middle of nowhere i know i planted some okra somewhere but i have a hard time getting the okra to go here's my butterfly garden give you a quick shot of that it's uh doing really well this year mostly from perennials but i did plant some annuals there's some borage and there's my apple tree right here that I planted that from seed. These are my new strawberries. I just planted them in the winter and they are doing great. They get really big berries on them. That one's almost ready to pit. I think there's one up here that might be even more ripe. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These are berries like I remember from my childhood. My other ever-bearing plant just didn't have a good flavor on those berries. The plants here are huge, and I'm extending this bed so they'll be able to come out here. They're putting a bunch of runners out to make more plants. 
so next year we'll have even more but I'll probably leave those strawberries on see if the birds get them or the grandkids get them it'll be a race here's some tomatoes I got in this tomato cage I believe these are early girls and over here is a Rutgers and in the tomato cage I have I have uh, beans that grew up by themselves and I also have some uh, buckwheat these white flowers here are buckwheat buckwheat you can you can eat the leaves they're good but mostly it's a crop you can just chop down and it'll be good for the soil and that's basically what I'm doing to those in there here's some Swiss chard that's growing the whole way up and it's going to seed focus there we go I will breeze right by the onions but I've been using these onions for cooking those are ones I planted from the little tiny bulb things there's some basil I planted from seed the bloody dock has been doing really well this year oh look at that looks like a pepper plant looks like a dog print right at the base of it this thing was straight yesterday uh, those silly dogs I might have to put my electrical fence up again here's some pepper plants that I winter sowed let's see there's one two three four one two three four in there and I transplanted one to another spot from there already there's another winter sowed Another winter sowed there. Another winter sowed. I have to look and see what, what varieties these are. Looks like that's a Yolo Wonder, and that one's a Yolo Wonder. And I have to look at my video to see what I planted here. Let's see, there's some broccoli that I winter sowed. It's not going to heads yet. Better hurry up or it's gonna get hot. There's my largest fig tree. It's already sprouting out, growing over six feet tall um, off the stem that did make it through the winter. And I haven't looked, but I think it has some figs starting to grow here. Um, or maybe they're just leaves. I did, I did a couple grafts just playing around. So there's a graft here, a cleft graft, and there's a, a leaf coming out from that. And I think I did them actually too early in the year because it was still getting some freezing temperatures. Here's a, here's a graft too, a little tiny graft. Um, and I don't, I'll have to look at the video to see what that was too. So it looks like at least two of my graphs have taken. We'll see if they actually keep growing. Okay, what else we got? Here's my Jerusalem artichokes. They're up five feet tall already. I showed last month my little fig trees that I put in the ground put the sticks in the ground and they're just sprouting up so there's one that one looks like it didn't do anything there's one over here that one's really growing pretty well there's another one growing pretty well There's another one. Cutting some of these uh, radishes back. They're shading them out. There's another one. There's another one. I have lots of fig starts that I can graft some known varieties onto next year. There's another one there. That's all from there. 
I do have some beets that are sort of trying to grow in the in the mess in here. Uh, let's see. My horseradish over here is going crazy. I keep chopping and dropping it to keep it from shading the other things. But I have some green beans I planted here. Got those from MI Gardener. Got a few plants that made it. Dogs tromped through here. They were really chasing it. I think, pretty sure it was a chipmunk because we did find a chipmunk in the yard. Here's some more of that giant Swiss chard. That's doing really, really well. Uh, here's some oregano that I planted from seed. Here's some dinosaur kale. Some kind of grain that came up from the straw. I just chewed some of it yesterday to show my grandson how it makes gum when you chew it. Some cucumbers growing up in here that it were winter sown. Here's some winter sown tomatoes. More winter sown tomatoes. This one was one that I transplanted. That's a burpees big boy. Another burpees big boy. Oh, look at this. Here's here's the uh, blackberry that I just planted over the winter. It's already putting some blossoms on, so looks like it might fruit this year. I wasn't even expecting that. Here's my Malabar spinach that came up all by itself. Actually, there's tons of Malabar spinach coming up by itself. I um, have a huge pile here that I pulled up and threw off to the side just to thin it out a bit. I'm gonna have to do that some more. Here's some catnip that came up by itself. Look at all that. Got a load of bunny poop that I have to spread out here. Cause this, I had carrots in here that I pulled them all up. And I'm gonna plant something in here. I'm not sure what I'm planting in here. Maybe I might plant some Indian corn. I'm still allowed to say Indian corn, or is it Native American corn? I'm, corn, I'm not sure. All right, we're about at the top of the garden, about at the end here. I did want to show you my persimmon tree. I've planted this over the winter too. It is a uh, Foyo Asian persimmon grafted tree from Stark Brothers. And this thing already has fruit on it. I certainly wasn't expecting that, but look at that. I'm not sure if that focused because I couldn't see the camera at that angle, but here's one. Let's see if I can focus that. Oh yeah, it's focused. These are non-astringent. They're not like the wild ones that make your mouth pucker up for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to tasting those. All right, this is some peppermint tea that's all over the place. I chop and drop that a bunch. I need to chop and drop it here because it is taking over my apple tree. This is a Stark Brothers. Let's see what this is. It's a Caitlin. Caitlin tree just planted that and it had some blooms on it already this spring but the uh, but the blooms didn't make it I probably should have pulled them off just so the tree can get some strength to it before it tries to fruit but I imagine I'll get some fruit next year because it's, it's, it has such a good start there Alright, well that's my garden tour for May, late May. Stuff is really taken off. I also wanted to mention the hashtag I am a creator. I will put a link to it in the description. But it's for YouTubers who are trying to grow their channels. Uh, if you're doing YouTube, you probably are trying to grow your channel. But sometimes it can be hard to know how to make it grow. You try a lot of things and they don't work. I was actually even trying to buy advertising on Facebook briefly and um, 
that worked, but it costs some money. So anyways, I am a creator. Hashtag I am a creator. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, probably not today, but when I have a chance. Well, no, I'll probably have a chance today. But anyways, the I am creator is a group of people that get together. They look at each other's channels. They support each other. And if you're following my channel, you may have noticed that I'm getting a whole lot more support. I'm getting a lot of comments on my videos. A lot of people watching them. And that's simply what we do. We help each other to grow your channel. There's going to be a marathon session tomorrow, actually, Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern till 10 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, we're all going to get together and have a good time and view each other's channels. There's a feature in it called Five Minutes of Fame where you can actually go live with James Cox and the other people who are moderating the, the chat. And you'll, you'll um, be able to showcase your channel and showcase what you're doing. So uh, I hope to see you there. It's, that is hashtag I am a creator fun seven. So uh, again, it's, it's free, you know, you just, everybody gets together and it's, it's a good time. I will put the, the hashtag down in the description for that. There will be a live stream and I'd love to see you there. You will thank me, I promise. Alright, have a blessed day.